My brother is so thirsty for his best friend that he told me to invite her to my wedding as his plus one instead of his actual girlfriend. He's cooked. I know what I did to my brother over this makes me the jerk, but I need to know how bad it was. My brother is 29 and has been with his girlfriend, Leah, for about two years. We all like her. She is super nice. I'm getting married next April and sent an invite to my brother's apartment. We decided to send invites to households and not individuals. For example, our aunt received an invite for her family and not for each individual. Last Thursday, we met at my parents' place. It was just the core family because of some tax reasons. While there, I asked my brother about Leah's dietary restrictions. I know that she is a vegetarian for health reasons and that she cannot have certain raw vegetables. To my surprise, he said that she wasn't going to come and that he was taking his girl best friend, Amanda, instead. Now, their relationship is weird AF. Amanda has always been stringing my brother along, in my opinion. He always denies having feelings for her, but let's be real here. Amanda would date other guys, blow off my brother, then when things were on the decline with her partners, she would be attached to him again. Not to mention she gets jealous whenever anyone spends time with him. Her last boyfriend broke up with her right around the time my brother, his then ex-girlfriend, Amanda, and her ex were supposed to travel to Spain. What did my idiot brother do? Go with Amanda alone because Amanda was uncomfortable with his ex-girlfriend. Obviously, he acted blindsided when his girlfriend broke up with him. I once told him to ask Amanda to have a one-sided open relationship where she gets to do what she wants, and he waits at home for her because he already does that. This time, however, I didn't even say anything anymore because it's all so weird. So, when he said that, I asked if Leah already had other plans. But my brother said that Amanda had asked if she could come because it would be an opportunity to finally see the old gang, referring to our friend group in high school. I told him that I would have invited Amanda if I wanted her there. Amanda is mean and cold. She always makes disparaging comments about other girls. At every event, around one hour in, she will make some sort of scene that either has her running away crying or sitting mad at a table telling everyone to leave her alone and then making a cryptic comment about something hurting her. I told my brother I was revoking his plus one and that Amanda was not coming to our wedding. He accused me of being misogynistic and bigoted because I don't understand opposite gender friendships, which is BS. My husband has a female childhood friend who is his best woman. I love her too, and she has been amazing, and she respects boundaries. She always includes me and made a huge effort when I started dating my fiancé to integrate me into the friend group. Anyway, I said my decision was final. He could take it or leave it, but I would be inviting Leah myself because I like her. He screamed at me and told me to keep out of his business. The last thing I said to him was to get rid of his weird feelings for Amanda, and that was that. Now he is mad at me, understandably, and my dad said it's none of my business, while my mom is furious with my brother. So, was I wrong here? Update 1. Thank you everyone for your insights. Regarding the invitation, I now realize I shouldn't have phrased it as inviting a single person. I thought inviting households would be cute and less pressure for guests, so lesson learned, lol. Anyway, here's an update I'd like to share with you. After the confrontation, I didn't hear from Leah or my brother for about two days. During that time, Amanda reached out to me, upset about my Reddit post. She called me a jerk and insisted that Leah is not the only special woman in my brother's life. She argued neither Leah nor I have the right to be selfish with my brother's time, asserting she existed before Leah or any of his girlfriends and would outlast them all. She ended with a presumptuous statement that she would surely see me at my wedding. I was fuming. I chose not to engage with her other remarks but instead sent her a clear message, Hello Amanda, you are not invited to my wedding. If you want to see the old gang, please organize a coffee date when they're all in town. Should you appear at the wedding, you will be escorted out, peacefully by staff or with police involvement. Please refrain from contacting me or my husband. Amanda responded with more emails, mostly vague threats and name-calling, and turned to Instagram to indirectly target me. She tagged me in posts, making my username small so people wouldn't notice me tagged but would see it in my notifications. She also used an Ask Me Anything sticker on her Instagram story, where I'm pretty sure she asked herself leading questions. Highlights included questions like, what's the perfect outfit for a wedding, with a photo of herself in a dress captioned, this, but sadly I'll never get to use it, and what is your pet peeve, followed by a rant about nosy people who think they have the right to control others. She flooded her story with sad quotes about no longer having a girl's girl. She tagged me in every single one, and of course, I screenshotted them all. Some friends reached out when Amanda started spreading a different story, claiming I originally invited her but later disinvited her because Leah hates her and pressured my brother to do the same. The cool part? Not one person believed her. Many of our old high school friends have cut ties with Amanda, and the few guys who still talk to her are more linked to my brother. They reached out to let me know Amanda was spreading rumors. The girls in the group blocked her after she vented to them, which led Amanda to start bombarding their phones. My brother panicked, thinking I'd started a campaign against her. Speaking of my brother, he called and texted me multiple times, furious that I excluded Amanda and even blamed me for any harm she might come to. He went as far as calling our mother, saying Amanda was depressed and threatening never to forgive me if something happened to her. 
My mom advised him to call for a welfare check if he was genuinely concerned because he, as an individual with no training, wouldn't be equipped to handle such situations. The biggest development is that my brother got kicked out of his shared apartment. Leah called me to say their relationship might not continue and that she might not feel comfortable coming to the wedding. I understood her decision and offered an open ear. We met for coffee, and she recounted their ugly fight. Without going into all the details, Leah didn't hold back. She made my brother read every single text out loud between him and Amanda and sent a copy to one of her male friends, who replied, Leah, WTF is this, this is not okay. She used this as evidence that their interactions were, at best, inappropriate and, realistically, an emotional affair. When my brother begged her to stay, she asked him why, knowing he would always choose Amanda. He swore he wouldn't, but his immediate response to a hysterical call from Amanda about me bullying her proved otherwise. Leah left while he comforted Amanda in another room. Later, she texted him that he needed to move out while she was away. It's her apartment, and she didn't want to see him until certain conditions were met, cutting Amanda out completely and seeking therapy to address his unhealthy patterns. The fight spanned two intense days. That's pretty much it. It sounds convoluted, like a soap opera, but my day-to-day -day life has surprisingly been calm. I think my brother really needs to mature and either commit to Amanda or realize he's being strung along. And to Amanda, please grow up and leave me alone.